Mary Jane. Harry won't return my calls. Will you check up on him? I'm worried. Uh, uh, of course. I'll, I'll do what I can. Thanks, Tiger. Why do I always find myself playing matchmaker between Harry and Mary Jane, even though I'm in love with her too? I've got to get to Mrs. Hardy before... Spider-Man? There's no way you can save two of them at the same time. Is there? No! Are you all right? What about my mother? <laughs> I knew he wouldn't let her fall. He wanted to take her hostage. You've got to save her, Spider-Man. I'll do my best to get her back. You have my word. Mary Jane! Have you heard anything from Harry? No. Oh, I hate myself for saying this, but I'm beginning to think something awful about him. Awful? Like what? These kidnappings in the news? I think Harry might be involved in them to avenge the death of his father. Mary Jane, that's crazy. And maybe close to the truth. You don't understand. There's a dark side to Harry that he keeps hidden. It comes from the anger he felt about growing up unloved. Lonely. I've tried to be there for him, but even I can't help him sometimes. What if that anger has taken over and driven him insane? Don't you think it's possible? If I told her, it would only make her feel worse about Harry. But would it make her feel better about me? Peter? What's wrong? Talk to me. No, I can't do it. Harry was, is my friend. He's also innocent until proven guilty. I don't know what to think, Mary Jane, but I do know this. If we love Harry, we have to trust him and stand by him now when he needs us the most. Where are you going? I've got to be by myself and do some thinking. Peter, even though things didn't work out between you and me, you really are a good friend. I care about you too, Mary Jane, and I'm not gonna let anything happen to you, just in case Harry has gone off the deep end. I was wrong about Harry, but you stood by him all the way. You're a heck of a guy, Tiger. He's lucky to have you as his friend. He's even luckier to have you. Parker, if you happen to take another picture of Spider-Man, please give him this. What? Uh, but I... Parker gave me your note. It said you wanted to see me. What for? To thank you for rescuing my mother and for always being there for me. You can't. Hey, wait. wrong i'm sorry felicia but this just isn't going to work spider-man can't have a girlfriend it'd be too dangerous for both of us i know even so i had to let you know how i feel felicia i duty calls i understand we should go be careful spider-man i thought I saw our favorite science tutor come in. Oh, hi, Felicia. Parker? Is something wrong? Uh, oh, no, no. Nothing's wrong. Well, that is, nothing that wouldn't be fixed if you'd go out with me tonight. A date? <laughs> That's sweet, Parker, but there is someone else I'm seeing these days. Thanks anyway, though. You really are a good friend. Friend? Unbelievable! As long as she's in love with Spider-Man, that's all Peter Parker will ever be. Now I'm competing with myself. I look forward to us doing this again, soon. Jason, I had a wonderful time, but... Felicia? What's wrong? Is there someone else? No, I suppose not. Not anymore. Yes, let's have dinner again, soon. Looks like Felicia has found a new friend. Ah, oh, well, I suppose it's all for the best. Mm. Sweet dreams, Felicia. It's hard to let you go. Hey, Parker, don't you know these two? Well, who are you talking about? Harry and Mary Jane? Engaged? Hello, Tiger. M Mary Jane. I guess you heard the big news already, huh? Uh, yeah. I was a little surprised. I wanted to tell you myself, but Harry let the word out. <sighs> Sometimes he's so impetuous, like a kid on Christmas morning. I'm very happy for you. Actually, that's a lie. 
What I want to ask is... Wh Why, Harry? Listen, Peter. All my life, men have let me down. Harry's different, though. He gives me a lot of attention. It seems like he'll always be there for me. But do you love him? Excuse me, Peter. I promised Mrs. Peabody Oakhurst Smith that I discuss uh, uh, wedding gown designers with her. Uh, she'll be crushed if I don't. No. I didn't think so. We've got to get out of here. Did you see those guards? They're serious. Of course they're serious. And we have to be too. This is the real world, Harry. Not some game where your dad makes all the rules. Well, what do you want me to do? I don't know. But, but something. Come with us. Okay, okay. It's not okay with me. Oh, hey, you! Stop! <laughs> A winning combination. Scarlett O'Hara's eyes and Bruce Lee's moves. I think you're ready for the big time. Gee, thanks, Spider-Man. You could probably handle a leading role yourself. I knew I could count on you. Of course, son. I wouldn't let anything happen to you. Not now or ever. <gasps> That's enough for me. Let's go! Dad, will you please tell me what's going on? Harry, you don't look well. Let's call a cab. Hey, over here! <sighs> Do I have a headache? Harry, I'll call you later. I... I need to clear my head. What? But... but Mary Jane, you can't... Care to take me for a spin, Spider-Man? I need some air. Uh... sure. Wow! I would say that pretty much did the trick. Well, that's how it works for me, too. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but back there... I suddenly realized that even though I was really scared and concerned for Harry, it was as if I was worried about a little brother. Uh, don't get me wrong, I, I love him, but it's not the kind of love I should have for a future husband. Besides, I think there's someone else I'm really in love with. And all along, I've been trying to convince myself I wasn't. Really? And uh, who might that be? Hey, there's a cab stand. You can put me down there. We've got to do this again sometime. Good night, Spider-Man. So long, Mary Jane. And I hope Peter Parker is the lucky guy you're after. You know, I can hardly believe you're the real Peter Parker. For the last month, you've been so attentive. Paying attention to you isn't the hardest thing in the world to do. Especially when a certain webhead doesn't come between us. It's been so quiet lately, I've barely had to fire a web. Take that, you ugly monster! <laughs> That's not a monster, it's a goblin. And I think he's kind of cute. Really? Felicia, you never cease to intrigue me. A winner! Oh, marvelous. I hoped we might be able to get through one day without some kind of spider coming between us. Jason, I'm sorry. I can't help feeling the way I do about Spider-Man. Neither can I. Well, at least he hasn't been making any unscheduled appearances in your life lately. No, he hasn't. Maybe it's time I start appreciating somebody a little more reliable. Peter, look! Peter? He's run off again! Hey, MJ! Liz! Wait up! Mary Jane, let me explain. Liz, you may tell Mr. Parker that I think he should permanently disappear because we don't have anything left to talk about. Peter, Mary Jane said... Yeah, I heard. MJ, please. Mary Jane! Oh, my. It's beautiful. It's for you. Felicia, will you marry me? Oh, Jason. Oh, you're so sweet. It's just that... It appears you need a lesson in manners. But you're the one who needs a lesson. Spider-Man! Maybe I need spot remover. Are you hurt? Felicia? No, I I'm okay. But I've got to go after that creep. Spider-Man, wait! What is it? I haven't seen you in weeks. Are you avoiding me? Avoiding you? Look, Felicia, I thought I'd made this clear. We can't let there be anything between us. My life is just too dangerous, and I care too much for you to jeopardize yours. I'm sorry. So am I. Well, at least in the end, those two had each other. Maybe making sacrifices isn't so bad, as long as you're with the one you love. Maybe it's time I made a big sacrifice for Mary Jane and stopped being Spider-Man. Hey, Tiger. We need to talk. Mary Jane, 
You know, it can be a real strain on your relationship to have your boyfriend run off when big trouble starts brewing. I know, and I think I've just decided not to do it again, ever. No way, handsome. That, that's your job. I guess I have to try to keep little details like that in mind, especially since I love you. Tiger, I do worry. I love you. And now that we're together, I'm really happy. But then... Do you understand? I love you. Tiger, I don't think it's safe to be near me. Mary Jane, these things happen. It's New York. Sometimes I feel like you and I attract trouble. Listen, this is all that matters. I guess you're right. Good. Now stop worrying. Hey, what's the deal? Isn't that one of those things we saw at the fair? Whatever it is, it's big news and... I know, I know, you've got to cover it, but be careful. Felicia and I want to thank you all for coming to celebrate our engagement. This lovely woman has made me the happiest man on earth. Doesn't Felicia look radiant? Well, maybe to you, but I'm holding the most beautiful girl in the room. I couldn't agree more. Uh, Harry. So you do remember my name. That's silly, Harry. You're my friend. If you look up friend in the dictionary, it says nothing about stealing away girlfriends. Listen, I didn't steal. But you did. And for that, I can never forgive you, ever. Thanks a lot, friend. He's got to accept the fact that I'm not his girlfriend anymore. I'm going to go talk to him. I'm gonna have to abandon MJ again if I'm gonna stop that repository heist. Will Spider-Man always keep coming between us? So, are you here to wish me good luck? Uh, Felicia, uh, yes, good luck. Do you really love this Jason Phillips guy? And why should you care about that? Unless you've got a better offer. This is crazy. I can't love one woman as Peter Parker and another as Spider-Man. No, I don't. I just want you to be happy. So do I. Why, Jason? Why be a criminal? Because I had nothing to begin with. Everything I have, I owe to crime. Including you. So you see, my precious darling, I had no choice. I have to know. Did you ever love me? Really? Well, I, I don't know. I, I love things about you. Your wealth. Your beauty. Your, your refinement. That's not love. I've experienced true love. And it's nothing like that. Every time I lose my heart to someone, disaster strikes. I'm like a black cat, bringing bad luck into everyone's path, including my own. <laughs> I am sorry, Felicia. <laughs> Truly and deeply sorry. Mary Jane, I never thought you and Peter would ever get together. Me neither, Liz. Mm. So how's Harry Osborne handling you not being his girlfriend anymore? Mm, not well. He doesn't realize I wasn't happy in our relationship. He thinks Peter betrayed him. Poor Harry. You know, he's a real sweetheart. I kind of feel sorry for him. Sorry for who, Liz? <laughs> sorry for any girl who has to put up with you being late all the time, Pedro. I'll get you your usual. Am I that late? Yes, but that's right on time for you. It's one of your little idiosyncrasies I've come to love. Ooh, you use the L word. I like that. It's oh. okay, my love. Everything's oh. going to be fine. Is that you? Spider-Man, what? I thought I heard Peter. Look out! Mary Jane! No, where did she go? Mary Jane, Mary Jane! I can't find her. So help me, I can't find her. <laughs> Mary Jane! I've tried to be there for everyone. I've tried to live up to the responsibility that comes with this great power. But when push came to shove, I failed the people who needed me most. The woman I love is gone. Gone. Forever. Where am I? Peter? Somebody, please! 